tonight our top story the deadlock over government formation in Jammu and Kashmir the BJP senior general secretary Ram Madhav was in Srinagar today and said his party was in touch with both the PDP and the national conference while the PDP is said to be struggling with whether or not to ally with the BJP the NC has now offered unconditional support to the PDP while the Congress has reiterated its support to Mufti Mohammad Said to keep the BJP out we have made an offer to the PDP to form the government and if they choose to form the government and need our support, we are ready to offer them unconditional support to ensure that they have a majority, our ad numbers add up and they form the government and which will be a stable government with adequate numbers to prove the majority on the floor of the house and that's what we're doing. Well, quite a confusing situation there in JNK. Meanwhile, Governor N.N. Vora has sent separate letters to the BJP and the PDP, the two largest parties, for discussions on government formation. Sources say the BJP is likely to inform the governor that it is the largest post-poll alliance. The party, it now claims, say sources, that it has 31 MLAs, 25 of their own, plus six independents. My colleague Zafar Iqbal now joins us from Jammu. Uh, Zafar, still a very, very messy picture, but it seems the talks between the BDP and the BJP have picked up today. Uh, you know, is this something that's going to take some time? There seems to be quite a lot of conflict within the PDP about whether or not to go ahead with this alliance. Well, indeed, uh, there's a lot of conflict within the PDP and not uh, just the PDP, but also the BJP. Remember that these are two ideologically different parties. PDP has quite a different st uh, stand, diametrically different stand on issues like Article 370 on Armed Force Special Powers Act. PDP has an agenda of self-rule, dual currency, while as BJP has a totally different stand on these issues. So how are the two going to come together? That's the big question. Now, we're told by our sources that BJP has softened its stand on contentious issues like Article 370 and on other issues, the focus that the BJP says should be on development. But still, it's not easy easy for the two to come together. And the BJP is quite clearly saying that it's exploring other options. It's talking with the National Conference. It's talking uh, with the independents. But the problem is that PDP is not opening its cards. What is the PDP's uh, strategy going to be like? We're told that Mufti Mohammed Said has told all his uh, leaders not to speak to the media, and we are not getting enough details on that. But now that the governor has sent the letters to both the parties, I think the picture will be clear. Uh, in a few days, we're told that by first, uh, both the parties have been told to give up their, uh, you know, stands and also send their proposals, how at all they will form the government, and there will be some sort of a clarity. But as of now, our sources are indicating that BJP and PDP are slowly coming together. It's a long task. It will take some more days uh, till they finally reach some sort of a common ground. Nidhi? Zafar, one of the main sticking points apparently seems to be, of course, on the chief minister's position uh, and, and it would be very difficult for either party to compromise on that because the BJP is being very adamant that uh, it would want its uh, CM candidate, even if it's on a rotational basis. That's something that's also very uh, dear to the, to the PDP as well. Well, that's the main sticking point. Uh, here, when there was this meeting of the BJP MLAs, all of them spoke in a single voice. They said there may be differences on other issues, but there is uniformity, uniformity of the stand on this issue. They want that it should be a BJP-led government and the chief minister should come from BJP, which also means that the BJP, uh, P, uh, chief minister should be from the Jammu region because BJP has won all its seats from Jammu and it's not opened its account from the valley. Well, as uh, the PDP is, uh, you know, they want that Mufti Mohammed Said should head the government for six years. Now, how are the two going to uh, accommodate each other's concern? That's the big question. Uh, Ram Madhav has clearly indicated yesterday in Jammu and today in Sirinagar also that they have not reached up to that point where they can discuss about the chief minister. But we're told by our sources that that's the main issue. The BJP, if at all, wants their a rotational system to be in place. They want the first three years uh, f for them as the chief minister because they say that they are the single largest party now. They have got the support of six right. more independent MLAs. So they say that they are the single largest party, party and not the PDP and it's they who deserve uh, the first three years and the chief minister. Nidhi. All right. So Zafar, it looks like this could be a very long drawn out process. Thanks very much for joining us tonight from Jammu.